hello guys i'm going to show you how to set up this google autocomplete plugin basically when you come here you can see there is a two button download and by now download is downloading from whatface.org and this one for buy before the buy you can test my pro features by uh, going to free trial page so you need to copy this key and download this plugin then go to your plugin add new upload and install it once you install it will ask you to put that api key paste it then you need to come to your account here will be a, you can change your api key and you need to come to settings then you need to put your google map api key and also you need to put your root domain by visiting or copying from here and paste it here and you need to make sure that you also add this slash if you delete this it will not going to work then update it now i'm going to show you how to create this api key so you need to click this developer console link and it will redirect to this make sure to create a new project and then go to billings and set up your billings against this form that's in this project if you not set up the billing account this is not going to work because google is not providing free anymore after that you need to click the library and open it in a new tab and also the place on it once you've done you can see this is managed you need to enable this one and this one after enabling you need to back and need to click the credential then you need to click this credential and api key and uh, you need to copy this one i'm going to delete this one because i'm not going to use this i already have a key mm -mm. Which one do I match? Okay, I need to click this one. Sorry. Okay, once you're done, uh, you need to paste paste it here. Then update it. If you are using uh, Google SEO, uh, sorry, Advanced Custom Build plugin, you need to make to enable if you want to see this button. If you make it disable and you can see the advanced custom field option done from here so i'm going to make it in a boat and this one for uh, make sure it is disabled i have to see the error in console okay update it then you need to click to google on this autocomplete then you can see there is a single line address it will be default and you need to put this id by inspecting your form so i'm going to show you how to inspect the form and to go here click here inspect it and find the id name id is equal to then column and semicolon you need to copy this one and paste it for each street address this is the entry point that means autocomplete will start from this id if you even if you not fill this that will be work that's fine but this one is mandatory you need to fill the state you need to fill zip if you need formatted address this one this one for uh, latitude this one for longitude and then you can country restriction option here you, you need to type two letter of your country it can be small letter or big letter then country type short name in us long name in united state then if you're using uh, it for your checkout page on okoma so you need to make sure it is short name otherwise it will not select that field so i'm going to long now because i'm going to use the plain into text then this one is optional you can um, uh, try to experiment if you're not getting the correct information then there is a search type address city establishment region i'm using the default one 
and if you have another form you need to click and fill the same thing then remove it if you want save it and now if I reload this one <coughs> and open the console okay, you can see this one was cleared so make sure to uh, enable this one then reload this then if you have caching plugin you need to delete this cache otherwise it will not work so you need to come here and if I type 556 you can see it is New York and filling all everything and there 789 this one it is also filling the correct you can see the latitude longitude and here you can see the formatted address how it is coming the JSON data from here so this was and you can see this is getting the full address because oh, we set up the single line address yes if you make it yes and go here and drag your cache and if you type at a time you can see it is getting only the number and the route then it is getting this way so i think this video is going is going to help you to set up this plugin and if you like this video or if it is helpful or if you have any question feel free me feel free to contact me and also try my free trial keep experiment if you want to buy you can go and buy it from here you need to select the single if you are using single side for and if you have multiple site you can take the unlimited then click to buy you need to fill your information the unlimited one is 50 and single side is 30 so you need to fill then that's it once you fill you will receive a confirmation email and you will have your login information how to download the plugin your API keys all everything once you receive those you need to come to your account and you need to use this change license then other you need to paste your license then it will active your account because uh, I'm, it is only for limited time trial because every time I change my API key that's why you cannot test multiple times so if you have any question feel free to come to my footer you can use one of this chatting platform to contact me have a good day bye bye